What is going on? I have some sweet, sweet mail um, that I got in. I got in a package from Bart81 USF. Um, you might know him from um, the, the dude that has 49ers PC or 49ers PSA cards out the wazoo. <laughs> I've never seen anyone that, that likes their team and likes PSA as much as Bart does. Um, so I'll leave his link down below for y'all to give him a sub if you haven't um, subbed to him already. Um, he's been around for quite a while, and I'm telling you right now, if you like the 49ers um, or PSA or anything like that, um, that is definitely the channel you need to be watching. He has some great stuff. Um, he sent a Christmas package. I don't know if I said that or not, but he sent a Christmas package. And um, since I didn't advertise my new address that I moved in about a year ago, um, he sent it to my old address. So it took quite some time. It came here to Pensacola. And they went all the way out to Lemoore and then came back to Pensacola. Um, so I think I got it six days ago, seven days ago. Um, so I apologize for that, Bart, but thank you very much. Um, extremely late Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> um, I'll go through some of these. Um, not through all of them. Just to save time, he sent a ton of uh, Texans base. This DeAndre Hopkins. Um, has some pretty wicked shine to it. A couple JJ Watts from Prison, the intros. Let's see if I can, if that's any better. Three Tom Savage. I like this. Um, Prism, Andre Hopkins hands team. I've never seen this card before, or this um, subset. And then a bunch of other Prism base. Other cards, the CJ Fedorowicz, numbered to 200. Jared Crick. This is very nice. I loved when this dude was on the Texans. And one of my all-time favorites, David Carr. Um, I don't think the guy got the credit he deserved. Well, actually, he couldn't even get any credit because he couldn't stay off his ass. Our old line back then was terrible. And the guy couldn't even play quarterback because he was constantly running away from defenders. And this was super cool. Um, this male branch, I didn't know who this guy was. Um, and I'm actually really, really happy you sent it to me because I was able to do some research and read about this guy. It was really cool. Uh, male branch, defensive end for the Dallas Texans. Um, and he was a member of the Chinese Bandits. Okay, kind of like the Steel Curtain or the, the purple, what do they call them? The purple people eaters, the, the old Vikings defense. He was a member of the, China, uh, the Chinese Bandits um, defense squad of the of, uh, 1958 LSU uh, Tigers football team, national championship winning team. Um, so really cool, man. I don't have anything like this in, in my PC. And so I even put the little note on the back of, of what it was because I wanted to remember that because when I first read that the Chinese bandits I think I laughed out loud for about five minutes because it just made me chuckle um got in some PSA DNA cards uh, PSA DNA is running a special in January that was half off all NBA and or basketball and football items um, half off is one hell of a deal um, for PSA DNA services and they actually continued that same special on into February um, so I got six from last month. I actually have 17 cards still in right now waiting to be authenticated. And I'll probably be sending another 10 to 20 um, at the end of February. Um, with that, your items do not have to get to them before that month's special is up. As long as it's postmarked, you know, February, um, you'll be fine. It doesn't have to get to them before that month is over. So this was an upgrade. Uh, Jim Taylor, I had him before, um, but it was on um, one of those Pro Set Super Bowl cards. I wasn't too, too happy with it, so this is definitely an upgrade for me, and I really, really like how it turned out. This is Kevin Green on a 1991 Upper Deck, um, signed in blue, turned out beautifully. 
So really nice. A lot of people have a hard time getting him, um, TTM. I've sent to him two or three times, and every time I've sent, um, sent something to him, I've got my stuff back signed. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, I would save the best for last, but these last four are all smoking hot. Um, this Camo Refractor number two, 499 from 2014. This is Topps Chrome. JJ Watt. Really, really happy. Um, I remember I s submitted that, I think, to his Pearland, his home address. And I forgot I even sent to him, and out of nowhere it showed up. And then normally when you get a TTM success in the, in the TTM community, you'll notice um, onesies and twosies, uh, other people getting the same success because the guy signed a bunch of his mail and, and sent it all out. Um, that card I remember in particular that I didn't see any other successes, and I haven't sent, so... Um, I guess it was the luck of the draw or, or whatever, but that was really awesome. Um, from Tops Valor, Derek Carr. I was kind of skeptical to send this. I mean, I got it myself, TTM, um, but his signature is very, very hard, or excuse me, very, very easy to forge. And I've seen a ton of his stuff come back, not authenticated, of people that got his um, autograph in person. So, really happy to add this one. And last but not least, these last two cards are super sweet. From 2009 Upper Deck, The Sheriff. And from 2008, Tops, The Sheriff. So, um, if any of y'all are in the um, some of the TTM groups that I'm in, especially the NFL TTM Collectors Group, you know that I've been trying to trade for Peyton Manning's um, for quite some time. Peyton Manning um, TTM successes. And that's what I've been doing with them is submitting them to PSA DNA. Um, because I cannot see a freaking superior uh, athlete like him continue to sign his mail. I think it's going to go cold turkey um, before too long. So I wanted to get as many of those as possible. And I think out of those 17 I have to PSA DNA, I think three or four of them are Peyton Manning. Um, the card, the Bill Belichick custom that I had um, Tanner make for me, Tan Man Baseball Fan, uh, makes some hellacious awesome customs. Um, I had him made a, a Belichick card for me. I believe I showed it in one of my prior videos. Uh, when I got it in, I sent it in to BAS, Beckett Authenticating Services. And the reason I sent it to them and not PSA DNA is because Beckett, I know they have thicker, thicker um, cases when... PSA DNA has a thicker card. The case that they put the card in is freaking disgusting. It's huge. Um, so I didn't want to submit it to them. And I got the card back authenticated. Um, and this was originally a Bill Belichick letter that he got um, that he sent out with all of his TTMs. Um, so for all of you that wanted to know if those letters were fake or ghost signed or pre-printed or anything like that, I can't tell you if they are or not, but Beckett says that they're real. Um, so really happy, man, to have this. This car just turned out so freaking nice. And Tanner did one hell of a job. Um, there's a picture of the original letter on the back. Um, so I could not be happier with this. I think I have four or five more letters of um, Belichick's signature on there. And I have about three Robert Kraft um Signed cards that I might su submit for um, to Tanner to make customs. I'm trying to get Roger Goodell to sign a couple cards because I think it would be fun to have a Deflate Gate custom. I think that would be freaking hilarious. Um, and maybe one or two Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft customs um, would be really, really sweet. You know, both of those dudes are going to go into the um, Football Hall of Fame. Roger Goodell, like them or freaking or hate them. He will probably go in the freaking NFL Hall of Fame. It seems like every commissioner does. Um, I know he's he's relatively new to the position. I know Paul Tagliabue will probably be put in this year or next year into the Hall of Fame, but it is what it is. And as you know, that's probably my main my main PC is Hall of Fame NFL autographs. So it'd be, I think it'd be really cool to get those. I'm kind of rambling on. Um. So until next time, adios. Be safe. And uh. Yeah, I got this little this foosball game this weekend called the Super Bowl. So I don't know who you got, but I think uh, football, I think Manchester United's going to win the Super Bowl this year. So peace out. Awesome.